What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my 8 quart ninja foodie. And today, I'm going to make foodie Philly cheesesteaks. By the way, y'all, this is another Cooking with Friends edition. We got Will in the house. Will, say what up. What up, what up, what up. So as you see, we chopped some onions. All right, we got green scallions cut up. I put the, um, some oil in the foodie and I already um, put it on sear mode. Drop some uh, a pepper in there just to see, you know, to get an idea when it's hot. So we're pretty much there. All right, so we got um, garlic, we got onions, we got peppers, and again, we got the green onions or scallions, whatever you call it. And, you know, you can do it at any amount to your taste. It's all good. All right, we're going to season the onions, etc. with this. All right, we're ready to dump everything in there. The onions. Garlic, peppers, all that good stuff. Shout out to everybody with their wooden or silicone spurtles. Again, we on saute mode, y'all, and it's smelling absolutely fantastic. You need to add more oil? Go ahead. Yeah. You can seal it so I can cook it smell it right now, man. That's crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Alright guys, it's to our liking. We've sauteed it, I'd say about for a good four minutes. I'm gonna transfer it into a Tupperware. And we'll keep it going. They're pretty thin, y'all. Kept it simple, but you could use your own seasoning, but I'm using that again. Put some oil in there. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group. On Facebook, you know how we do. By the way, I got my Copper Chef lid on here. I'm going to throw some What's Your Sister's Social Sauce in there. Got a diced up tomato right there. Are right, we just about done with the meat? That was about another five, six minutes. Okay, there's the meat. Too bad you guys are not here to smell it. Mm. Smells good. Easy cleanup, because it's ceramic. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is, um, well, what Will likes to do is he likes to put everything together so they can talk to each other and every bite should be uniform. Exactly the same. Right. No matter okay. where you bite it. It's the same. Okay. So in order to get to achieve that, we're going to put everything back into the pot. Now again, I have it on saute mode. It's not, it, I just turned it on, so that's why you don't hear much sizzle yet. But we're going to put everything back in. With a few extra ingredients. Right, and we'll take you through that. And by the way, I did hit um, the bottom of the ceramic pot with my Evo sprayer. Just to give it a little slight coat of oil. It's all about flavor and health. So what we're going to do is now we're going to add some tomatoes. We're not going to cook the tomatoes. We're just going to get it to warm up inside. 
Okay. The extra texture and extra flavor. That's Will style. Yes, sir. Okay, now that everything's warm, there's no need. So I can just turn it off now. Yes, so as you can see now, all the flavor is there together until we put the finishing touch. You let them see that. Only one way to make a Philly, baby. Okay, we might have, we have enough for four. We have son. enough for four. Oh, yeah, we're going to make four. We're going to eat about two or three on camera, but we... All right, so now, drop that matzo in there. Drop Mozzarella. the matzo. Yep. All right, all right. Okay. Man. So now it's the finishing touches, guys. Wow. And what's crazy about your foodie, there's so many options we could do. I'm going to broil it, right. but I could air fry it if I wanted to. I could bake it if I want to. Shoot, I could probably steam it if I want to. Now, would you look at that? Come on now. Fish you. It's a fish you. Man. All right. Now we're going to put it on heat so we can eat. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> we keep it real here with Cooking with Doug. The high position was a bit too high. And now it was kind of touching eat the, the eat, elements. Baby. We don't want it to touch the elements. So we put it on the low position, no problem. All right, guys, I went ahead and closed the lid. We're going to use the broil function right there. I don't think we need 10 minutes. I'm going to go with five, and I'll check it. Yo, yo, Will, say what you just said. Yeah, now we heated it. Now we're going to eat it. <laughs> so you can see we got like 49 seconds left but eat it, it now let's eat it now eat it let's eat it that's done it's done look at that folks look at that the foodie did everything baby yeah 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 smelling good shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on facebook one time All right, guys, that's what we're working with. Will, how does that taste? Very, 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 very good. He delicious. is like blown away. Very, very good. The foodie strikes again, y'all. Tastes better than it look. Mm. Well, we're going to see that. First of all, you guys take a look at what we're working with here. Broil function, toasted, and melted that mozzarella cheese perfectly. You hear that? You hear well eating? Got that, it. Good. That's serious business right there. Mm -hmm. I'll take a bite. That girl with the Hooters might have some competition. Yeah. Or not Hooters. What was it? The chicken she was eating? The what? Popeye's chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the mukbang we were watching? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going in. Oh, yeah. Man, that's good. It's juicy. I taste the peppers. Tomatoes. The onions and the, and the peppers still crunchy. Yeah, I taste the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I'll take another bite. Mmm. Perfect. Food strikes again. Well, I can't really talk too much more because I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Now, I just want to show you it can be done in your foodie. When I went on YouTube, I seen a lot of people, um, you know, pressure cook, um, um, you know, a thicker meat and then shred it. No, I don't, I didn't see a need to do that. Just put it on saute mode and make it how you normally make them. You could use steakums. You could do, make it how you normally make it and finish it off in your foodie. All right. 
I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, to my Ninja Foodie group. And shout out to my Ninja Foodie group, by the way, on Facebook. We just hit 9,000 members. We just started in October 6th, y'all. We growing. So that's self-explanatory. So if you have a foodie or you're thinking about getting a foodie, don't be afraid of success. Join my group. Come in there, share your recipes or get recipes. But other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything... Thanks for looking at my video. We'll say uh, peace out to my subscribers. Yeah. All right. We out. Peace and eat. Foodie Nation.